This is Eric Mwade for the week of September 9th, 2013. I hope everybody had a good weekend. Why don't we begin at taking a look at the futures and we see that the Dow is called up about 31 points, S&P 500 called up about 4 points, Nasdaq called up about 12. We see that overnight Asia had the biggest move here. We see that the Chinese market was up 2.3% and the Japanese market was also up. So Asia was up. Looks like Europe at the moment seems to be down, slightly down beginning the week here. Or we can call it unchanged. So down or unchanged. And as far as commodities are concerned, looks like crude oil is slightly down here, about 50 cents. Gold is unchanged and silver is slightly to the downside. So that's where we are beginning the week. Why don't we begin by taking a look at the hourly chart for the S&P 500. As of Friday's close, you see that we hit these top lines on the hourly channel and that seemed to be a stall point. So we are either going to come here this week and break out and have a nice move to the upside or we are going to confirm this RSI resistance based on these lines here. We are either going to confirm resistance here and continue pushing off the lows of Friday and also pushing off this, this highs here. So it remains to be seen what the market does short term, but there was resistance in the hourly charts on Friday's trading. The same thing was seen on the airline hourly chart here. We saw that the market did try to break out of that range. This range has been where on the hourly chart there has been resistance at these levels here. There was resistance here. And so we seem to have closed back at that line. We see what happens. The RSI is showing that there is a level of resistance here. As you can see this area here on the RSI could either become confirmed uh, resistance or could actually even break out. So we need to watch that level to see what happens. If you see the market break out here, that's going to suggest that the market might have a nice beginning to the week. So we'll see what happens. The MACDs on the hourly do seem to indicate that the market is indeed going to be pulling back early part of this week. You see that the MACD there wants to roll over and head lower here. And also you see that there's a crossover imminent here. So the MACDs could suggest that at the beginning of the week, the market could be pushing lower. If we take a look at the NASDAQ from a weekly chart, we see that the NASDAQ is very close to breaking out. The breakout level is 3689.59. So that is the highest weekly close going back 13 years plus. So if this thing can, it's very close, if it can break out here, that's going to suggest a new leg in this market has begun to the upside. Also the NASDAQ from a weekly chart, you see that the RSI has been finding support on this brown line here. So this line is where the market bounced off that level there there and there and I think that is enough for this market to build into new highs. Now we have to be always careful for the market to trick us and the market could actually decide to break that support line, this line here and the RSI break that and that might begin the NASDAQ to test that 10 week moving average. As far as the NASDAQ daily is concerned, we see that there is a channel here on the daily that the market needs to break out above that. So that needs to be either either going to turn into re confirmed resistance or eventually going to break out. So that channel is very easy to identify. The highs have been very precise just at that level there. And the market has not closed above that. On the RSI, I noticed that, see we bounced off this gray, gray line here which was this area here. Nice bounce, trying to move higher, but there's a line, which is the red line, which I show here. This line has been either entry points or exit points when the market moves above that or below it. So we are somewhere here where we could stall on a day-to-day -day basis for the NASDAQ. So I would expect, again, the early part of the week for the market to getting some into some kind of resistance. So I'm thinking or leaning towards market probably either breaking out of those ranges or stalling. On the MACDs, the MACDs do seem like they want to turn around here on the daily. 
so well it's a market it's confusing so the market is a uh, pointing to momentum being to the upside if we take a look at the Dow weekly chart now notice that the Dow unlike the Nasdaq the Dow already broke down there was a breakdown of the breakout here and the Dow tested the 33 week moving average you saw last week that we closed above 50 on the weekly RSI this week if the market clips back below 50 we might have a big down week net net so let's watch that RSI level to see whether the market can stay above 50 if it moves back below 50 that's gonna be good for a big down week the Dow transports on the weekly chart there seems to be some kind of a lose and as I say lose because these laws here are not very tight but the Dow transports did seem to hold that level there back up back to the 10 week moving average on the RSI there seems to be this blue line here seems to be an area where it's been bouncing off and recently bounced off that level so we'll see whether it can hold that seems to be forming a wedge here on the RSI see whether it can hold and break out which would be a nice move to the upside or maybe we get the reverse of that and would be a break of that wedge and push this market lower we'll see what happens the Dow transports from a daily you see that there's a channel here the top lines of this channel there and also you can see there's another channel forming here so either way we're gonna break out or we're gonna break down and the market is gonna tell us which direction it wants to pick the S&P weekly and you see that on the RSI you take that low and that low draw a straight line you see we bounced exactly at that level so this could be where we can build also back to the 10 week moving average but I do notice that the 10 week moving average here has been trying to bend so we'll see whether we break this weekly lows here fresh weekly lows you know going back a couple of weeks then maybe that suggests that there's a new push to the downside right now the S&P 500 is not giving us a lot of information even though I did notice that the MACDs on the S&P 500 still look like they're gonna push it lower on a week-to-week -week basis the MACDs do seem to indicate that there's momentum here still pointing to the downside the MACD there pushing below zero and also the MACD breaking this trend here so the weeklies show that the S&P 500 still remains to be under pressure to the downside on the gold daily gold does need to break out above 14 17 50 which is this daily closing high anything above that as far as gold is concerned is going to be a very strong move so watch that 14 17 level any breakout above that is going to push this gold market to the upside on the weekly we see that the breakout level is this weekly closing high of 13.69 so if gold can push above that that's going to be a nice entry level that also happens to be an area where it's been stalling so we need to watch that level a breakout above again 13.96 that's going to be a fresh move after some two weeks of rest here so watch that level on the RSI I do note that gold is still struggling to hold this back test here so if it coils that's going to be confirming that maybe now that is as much of a move or a bounce we get and then maybe we, we're going to be pushing lower but watch this 1396 level I think if it can break out above that those who want to go along can have a nice entry point with a line on the sun being at 1396.30 so watch those levels let's take a look at crude oil here and as you can see crude oil is now above that weekly breakout point of 108.16 that was the breakout level on a weekly basis and as long as it's holding above that the energy stocks could be in play here so watch that 108.16 to see whether that continues being the case anything above that suggests that the energy complex is going to be moving to the upside if we take a look at the USO which has a similar chart you see that its breakout point was 38.45 there which it's held had a nice close so anything above that 
suggest that energy is going to be in play. My only issue with this chart has always been that the RSI here on the weekly has failed to break out. So this RSI has failed here, here, and could also be failing again. So that's my only issue with this one. But as long as the price is holding above 38.45, it could have a chance to move higher. If you take a look at the USO from a monthly, you see that it is trading well out of this multi multi year monthly wedge so this is a big breakout also note that the rsi is trading at three year highs plus so that's a major major change in sentiment here as that rsi breakout to me seems very strong let me draw that again so you can see it so you can see that the rsi there is really staging a breakout first move to these levels in very many years so maybe there's something here and if that that's the case and investors do need to have some representation in that energy complex if we take a look at the uso from an hourly basis now short term is i was starting to see negative divergence this new high here new high there and yet the technicals is back to this red line where it's been stalling or at least pulling back some so Maybe this negative divergence is as much as it's going to go higher for now. So that's all for the week. This is Eric Mwade. Good luck to you guys. Talk to you later. I am out.